The Holy Tales. Hello, my name is Tubby. I live here in this wonderful library and I love to eat books. I live here with my friends Gumbo and Freckles. Gumbo, Freckles, come out, come out, wherever you are. Over there, on that great book, is Grand Old Holy. She is really old and wise and tells us wonderful stories when she is awake, that is. Oh, and we love to sing. Beneath his wings of love abide, God will take care of you. God will take care of you through every day or all the way. Hello, Holy. It's time for you to tell us a story from the Bible. <laughs> yes, today, I will tell you a story about a great woman called Ruth. But I am sure you know what you have to do after I'm done with my story. Yes, we know. At the end of the story, you will ask us a question which we have to answer correctly. Absolutely. So let's not waste any more time. Let's begin with the story. A long time ago, there was a famine in Israel. A man named Elimelech from Bethlehem went with his family to live in the country of Moab. His wife's name was Naomi and they had two sons called Malon and Chilion. After a few years had passed, Elimelech died. His sons married two Moabite women called Oprah and Ruth. About ten years later, Malon and Chilion died too. So Naomi was left with two of her daughters-in-law and no husband or sons. Sometime later, Naomi heard that the Lord had blessed Israel, there were good crops again and the famine was over. She decided that it was time to return to Bethlehem, her hometown. Before she was leaving, she told her daughters-in-law not to leave their land and stay back with their mothers. But both the women wanted to go with her to Bethlehem in Israel. Naomi tried to make them understand why they should stay back and not go with her. Finally, she could make Oprah understand who decided to stay back. But Ruth refused to leave her. Naomi said to her, Your sister-in-law has decided to stay with her people and be loyal to her God. You should also stay back with her. But Naomi could see that Ruth had made up her mind to go with her. So she said nothing more. They traveled together and finally reached Bethlehem. The people of Bethlehem were very happy to see them. So children, wasn't that a wonderful story? Well, today's question is, what was the name of the town where Elimelech and Naomi were from. It was called Moab. No, silly. They were from a town called Bethlehem. Isn't that correct, Holy? Yes, it was Bethlehem. Moab is where they moved to. Oh, I got confused. There were so many names today. It's all right, dear. Now all of you can go back to singing while I take my nap. Bye, kids. <sighs> Tales.